Welcome to West Derby Sixth Form. We are a mixed sixth form with a proud tradition of academic success and securing positive destinations for our students. We offer a suite of subjects covering a range of subject disciplines, including 13 academic courses and six vocational. Our subject offering is carefully tailored for each individual student to ensure that they have the right qualifications needed to progress to higher education or the world of work. We can offer state-of-the-art facilities with three designated areas for our sixth form students. Students have access to a quiet study room equipped with 50 PCs and iPads, a common room to use for socialising and a designated cafe area for break and lunch times. We have a proven track record of securing high quality university and apprenticeship placements and we work closely with local, national and international higher education institutions to support all of our students. For further details on our application process and our subject entry requirements, please visit our website and I look forward to meeting you in the future. BTEC Level 3 Applied Science is an extremely successful course at West Derby School Sixth Form. It's a course that covers aspects of each science discipline and focuses on the practical applications of science in the real world. As part of the course, you'll build on knowledge from GCSE Science whilst covering some A-level concepts. You will also hone your practical skills and fully understand the need for specific practical investigations whilst constantly evaluating them. In Year 12, we study two units. Unit 1 is the theory-based unit examined at the end of year 12. It covers aspects of biology, chemistry and physics such as cell structure, the nervous system, trends in the periodic table, waves and communications with waves to name a few. This is examined with three 40 minute exams and we also cover unit 2 which is an assignment based unit. There are four assignments to complete with full written reports for each of them. In Year 13, we follow a similar pattern. There are two units. Unit 3 is a practical-based unit with a practical exam, usually taken in the January of Year 13. We focus on practical-based learning and developing your practical skills. Unit 12 is an assignment-based unit which covers microorganisms, spread of disease and how the human body deals with diseases and infections. There are four assignments to complete for this unit. This course will allow you to study degrees such as biomedical science, forensic science, pharmaceutical sciences, etc. and also provide you with the skills to follow career in the science industry. Hi, my name is Miss Maxwell. I'm Head of Art and Photography at West Derby School. In the Art and Photography department, we run two A-level courses. We run Art, Craft and Design and we run Photography, which is uh, based on the exam board AQA. During your two years here at West Derby, you will complete two components. Component one, which is your personal study. It's an opportunity for you to be able to pick a project that you want to develop. So, for example, you could develop an architecture project, a portrait project, it's based really around developing your skills, techniques and knowledge of art and design. Your personal study is worth 60% of your overall grade and component 2 is worth 40% of your overall grade. Component 2 is an external exam set by AQA. My name is Miss Reardon and I'm the Head of Biology here at West Derby. The study of biology connects us to the world we are living in and the relationships with all other life forms. Here at West Derby we follow the AQA specification for biology. This course will help to inspire you further, nurture your passion for the subject and lay the foundations for further education. Biology is not only theoretical, it is also a practical based subject. Here we have well resourced labs so you can have a more hands on approach to your learning. We study a wide variety of topics ranging from biochemistry, cells, human physiology, genetics, ecosystems, homeostasis and finally evolution. We explore these topics in a more biological depth, linking them to real world applications. This course is the pathway to many university courses and careers such as doctors, physiotherapists, virologists and microbiologists just to name a few. We look forward to seeing you soon. Welcome to the business department at West Derby School. I'm Mr Keegan. Uh, if you choose to study business studies at West Derby School, uh, we currently study OCR Cambridge Technicals Level 3. Um, over the course of two years you will have five units this will involve two examined units and three controlled assessment units. In the first year, 
you will study marketing and market research and then we'll move on to the unit one and unit two exams which cover a lot of your usual business studies theory in year 13 you'll then study unit four which looks at customers and communication and unit 19 which looks at international business uh, we are a very successful apartment and a achieve consistently above national average grades. We look forward to seeing you here. Hi, I'm Mrs Kitts and I teach part of the A-level chemistry here at West Derby where we follow the AQA specification. In year 12 we study physical chemistry which includes atomic structure, amount of substance and bonding which provides consolidation and enhancement of the basic principles studied at GCSE. Amount of substance particularly includes many practical investigations which are a key feature of A-level chemistry. This course will provide many opportunities for you to enhance the practical skills that are required for most university courses based on science. Year 12 is split off into organic and inorganic chemistry. Organic chemistry will build upon the knowledge of carbon chemistry gained at GCSE and will be extended to include haloalkanes, alkenes, alcohols and organic analysis. This is of particular interest to students wishing to study forensics or analytical chemistry at university. Inorganic chemistry includes the study of group 7, group 2 and period 3. Group 2 and period 3 are new exciting elements which have not been studied previously and applications in medicine and agriculture will be covered Year 13 follows the same format. This year, physical chemistry will take a particular emphasis on rates, chemical equi equilibria and calculations. Year 13 will also include organic and inorganic chemistry. Organic chemistry will build upon analytical techniques studied in year 12, but will also involve the chemistry of DNA and how we can use this to create anti-cancer drugs. A-level chemistry is a great A-level choice for students pursuing a career in health and clinical professions, the chemical, petrochemical and pharmaceutical industries. Digital media will help students develop the knowledge and practical skills required in the digital media industry. Students will gain hands-on experience of the production process of a wide range of media products such as film, podcasting and magazine design. They will develop their ideas from planning through editing and post-production to final presentation. Throughout this process our students will learn how to use Adobe industry standard software such as Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere and After Effects. Digital media is a perfect subject for anyone hoping to pursue a career in multimedia, specifically film, TV and graphic design. Not only will you gain a level 3 qualification, but you will also leave school with a digital portfolio showcasing your imagination, creativity and skills. My name is Mr Warwick and I teach A-level English at West Derby School. If you decide to study English language and literature at West Derby School, you'll be in a very privileged position. We're one of the few centres in the city that offer this joint A-level as we feel it gives you more breadth than the skills needed for university and as a result it's very popular. It combines literary knowledge with the ability to analyse a writer's craft. At AS you'll sit two exams. One of the first things you'll study will be a media anthology connected with Paris and all its stereotypes. You'll combine this with the study of the 19th century's greatest gothic horror novel which is Frankenstein and you'll finish it off with some poetry by Browning and Keats and some creative writing. At A2 there are two exams. You'll revisit some of your AS texts but you'll also pick up the study of Othello by William Shakespeare, again one of his greatest tragedies or at least one of his greatest villains. You'll study a modern text called Into the Wild which is the story of an American student who abandons his possessions and journeys into the wilderness of Alaska. There is most interestingly a coursework element at A2 where you can combine a literary text of your choice with some media texts and analyse language use. English links very well with a number of sub subjects, obviously history, government and politics, but also many other A-levels. It encourages you to structure your ideas and express your views with confidence. If you do A-level English, you don't necessarily have to end up being an English teacher, but it, you can study most things that involve good communication, such as journalism or advertising or many more. My name's Mrs Williams, um, I'm Head of Food at West Derby School and in sixth form we offer the Level 3 Food Science and Nutrition. This course is aimed at students who want to gain knowledge and skills in food. Students will have the opportunity to learn about the relationship between nutrients and the human body as well as practical skills in preparing and cooking food. In Year 12 students are assessed in two different ways, a written and practical assessment and a written examination. In Year 13, students are assessed through two controlled assessments. There is a strong emphasis on practical work, making this an ideal choice for students who prefer learning through doing. 
Overall, grading will result in either Level 3 Pass, Merit, Distinction or Distinction Star. The course allows for progression onto higher education courses and into many different professions and industries including the food industry, the government agencies and health professions. We hope to see you and join us soon. Thanks. A warm welcome from the Geography Department at West Derby School. I am Miss Kidd, I'm the Head of Geography here and I'm representing a team that is proud of the course that we offer here at West Derby School. Our A-level geography course is taught over two years with two exams at the end of year 13 worth 80% of the grade and a piece of non-exams assessment worth 20% of the final grade. The course is a good option for students who enjoy geography at GCSE and who are enthusiastic about the world, physical and human around them. You will study six topics as part of the two-year course. Three of these are human geography and three of these are physical geography. The exam board that we teach here at West Derby School in Geography is AQA and there is a clear progression from GCSE topics. For example, we start the course in year 12 with hazards. This is a topic that I'm sure that all of you have studied at GCSE and one that geographers really enjoy. The non-exam assessment is an important part of our course. It's a piece of geography coursework that involves you as the student collecting data on a topic from the A-level and discussing it in a report to investigate an element of geography of your choosing. We start this process in the summer of year 12 when we go on a four day field trip to Dorset. Here you will learn about the diff different physical and human landscapes in this area along the coastline and learn different techniques for collecting data. Geography is a subject that is popular at West Derby School and we hope that you will join us next September. We are looking for keen students who are willing to read around the subject about current events and geographical news and those who genuinely enjoy learning about the world around them and the interactions between the human and the physical world. We hope that you will join us. Hello, welcome to uh, the History Department. My name is Mr Sharp and I'm one of the three history teachers who teach A-level history. History is one of the most popular A-levels at West Derby, mainly because, again, not just because of the uptake, but because of the pathway it can lead for in terms of university. History as an A-level is very popular amongst students who wish to go into professions such as teaching, journalism, business, or even into a political career. In the current history I leveled out there are three exams plus one piece of moderated coursework which is completed during year 13. The three units we feel give you the best balance of the study of history in terms of we look at British history, um, investigating the Tudors, we also investigate the civil rights period in the, from 1865 to 1992 in America which gives you a real depth of knowledge of how America has changed in that time period and finally we also look into a European depth study which is the Russian Revolution, a fascinating part of history which really tells you how Europe and Russia was shaped by the revolutions in 1917. Overall we feel that the history A-level is such a, su a successful A-level because of the hard work we find that the students put in in investigating these interesting topics. Students develop their analytical skills, their communication skills but above all develop that uh, historical knowledge which is so imperative in this course. If you'd like to speak to us more about that, then obviously myself, Miss Dunn and Miss Rosenfall are always available to discuss further. Hi, I'm Mr. Roberts and welcome to the Computing Department. If you choose to study Computing at West Derby Sixth Form, you will follow the OCR Technicals Level 3 Introductory Diploma in IT. As a school, we have chosen to follow the Application Developer Pathway and the course will be broken down as follows. You will sit two exams in the summer of year 12, with two further research opportunities in year 13, your exams will be based around the fundamentals of IT. You will have the opportunity to study three coursework units with this pathway. In year 12, we will look at the Internet of Everything, which looks at how our lives have changed and continue to change with the introduction of new technologies like 5G in our homes, lives and the workplace. In year 13, you will create an Android phone application as part of your coursework and create the documentation that goes along with creating a professional application for a mobile phone. 
Finally, in your last piece of coursework, you will design, create, and evaluate an interactive website that will be used to store personal data. We are a hugely successful department and we are consistently achieving grades that are above the national average. If you choose to study with us, this qualification will give you access to computing courses at all universities, apprenticeships and or a career in IT. Hi, I'm Mr Donga, Head of Maths at West Derby School. Um, if you choose to study Maths at West Derby School for A-Level, you will be required to continue learning about the stuff that you already know from GCSE. However, this will be taken into a more advanced level. Um, you will also be split up into three different parts where you'll do some called Pure, which will be just your number and algebra based topics. You will then be split into Statistics, which will build on the stuff you've done in GCSE, and Mechanics. Now, mechanics also lends itself quite well to physics so we do say that taking physics a level and maths a level goes well hand in hand okay you will see things in mechanics that you'll also see in a level within the pure side which is carrying on from your GCSE you will revisit topics from GCSE at a more complex level however you will also see new things such as differentiation and integration also added on top of the a level maths if you wish to take another a level if you think you are very capable of doing maths to a high level that is also a a level in what's called further maths you will have to do this as an extra a level on top of your maths as well what this will do is take you to the next level in terms of your ability of studying maths a lot of universities nowadays will ask if you go to study such um, topics as maths engineering or physics whether you have chose further maths or not as an A-level and if you did it looks very good when you apply for these courses um, so obviously further maths is a more advanced version of the A-level but it will be taught side by side. Photography allows A-level students to expand their creative horizons through taking and editing photographs. Students are also encouraged to contextualize their work and develop an understanding of the creative process in industries using photography. This course will help students understand the workings of the camera, shoot in manual and use Adobe Photoshop to edit their phot photographs. Emphasis is also placed on researching the work of others, specifically photographers with a distinctive style of photography. Students will then use this research as inspiration which will be evidenced in their own photography work. By the end of the course students will have produced a portfolio of work through the creation of photographs, digital presentations and written work. Hello, I'm Mr Fawcett and you will study the BTEC Level 3 Extended Certificate in Sport. You'll complete four units. Unit 1, Anatomy and Physiology, various uh, systems such as the skeletal system, muscular system, cardiovascular, respiratory and energy systems. That is an externally, uh, ex external exam. Unit 2 is Fitness Training and Programming for Health, Sport and Wellbeing. Uh, this is really good if you want to work in a health and fitness in industry you'll assess clients uh, develop training programs uh, suggest modifications again that is an external exam unit three is professional development in the sports industry this is coursework and assignment and you'll have the opportunity to research different possible careers in the sports industry unit seven is practical sports performance uh, again this is an assignment based and you have to develop your skills in an individual and team sports also research the rules regulations possible employment you could go to universities part of your UCAS points or a popular development pathway is sports science working with elite athletes you could be a PE teacher, a sports coach, a physiotherapist, or even things like sports related law or sports journalism. Okay, hope to see you soon. Good luck. My name is Mr Clark, I'm the Head of Science um, and I teach the A-Level Physics at West Derby School. Our A-Level Physics follows the AQA specification. In Year 12 we start with a development of con and consolidation of knowledge from the GCSE science courses. Uh, they first study electricity and mechanics which provides opportunity for the development of practical skills at an early stage of the course and that lays the groundwork on for further study later. Particle Physics comes next where students learn the fundamental properties of matter, electromagnetic radiation and quantum phenomena. This is a new topic where students develop research skills related to exciting new concepts. 
The study of materials follows, where materials are considered in terms of their bulk properties and their tensile strength. Although this sounds relatively dull, it's excellent for potential engineers, which is a popular destination for our physics students. Year 12 finishes with the study of waves, a further development of knowledge from GCSE, but on the characteristics, properties and application of travelling waves and stationary waves. An end of year assessment is used to give students realistic goals for their university applications. The year 13 begins with further mechanics, knowledge advanced through the consideration of circular motion and simple harmonic motion. This topic again links well to university studies in the fields of physics, mathematics and engineering. Students in year 13 also study nuclear physics, including characteristics of the nucleus, properties of the unstable nucleus and the links between energy and mass that introduces that most famous of physics equations, E equals mc squared. The last two topics in year 13 are fields and astrophysics. The concept of the fields one of the great underlying ideas in physics. The ideas of gravitational, electrostatic and magnetic field theories are explored within the topic to emphasise their unification, an understanding of which is vital for the study of all branches of the physical sciences at university. This is the hardest part of the A-level course. The topic chosen at West Derby School as the option topic is astrophysics. Fundamental physical principles taught throughout the course up to this point are here applied to the study and interpretation of our universe. Overall physics at A-level best suits students who are mathematically minded and may be considering degree courses or career paths in the physical sciences and those who have a natural curiosity about the world around them. Hello, I'd like to welcome you to A-Level Politics. My name is probably, as you know, Mr Sharp, and I teach politics and I believe it's one of the most important A-Levels that, that is available at West Derby School. Um, it's one of the most popular courses, mainly because it's a skill, it is a course that develops analytical and critical thinking, which is very important to universities. Politics has become a very popular A-Level over the last few years, given the current climate in terms of politics in both the UK and the world, and more and more students are choosing politics because it is such an interesting A-Level to be investing your time in. We look for students who may not have any previous experience of studying politics but have an interest in the subject and are willing to look at, into our courses in terms of the UK political institutions and the US. Over the two years you'll sit three exams, three separate exam papers and there is the opportunity not only to develop your debating skills and your critical thinking skills but to investigate and explore different political systems around the world. Over the course of the, the two year course we will organise a trip to the House of Parliament and we undertake many aspects in order to develop your knowledge and improve your preparation for the final exams in year 13. Hi, my name is Mr Lunt and I teach product design at A-Level. Product design is a very popular subject at A-Level and gives our students a good platform to move on to college courses, apprenticeships and university. In year 12 there are no exams or coursework marks that go towards the final grade, so this gives students time to enjoy the subject and develop their knowledge through experimentation, small practical tasks and design work. In the second year the marks are split 50-50. 50% 50 50 of the marks are awarded to the coursework element and the other 50 is accredited to two separate summer exams. The coursework is based in partnership with a local special educational needs school and it has run successfully for a number of years now. Working with the local schools, the students are asked to design and make bespoke, unique products that will aid and assist the pupils at Samfield Park School. The course is 50% designing and practical based, which gives a nice balance to the A-level curriculum. It's a fun and engaging subject and an excellent starting point if you hope to pursue a career in design, engineering or architecture. Hello, this is Mr Parnaby and this is an introduction into RPE at West Derby for A-Level. The three composite parts are religion, philosophy and ethics, which is studied carrying a weighting of 33% each. First we'll take philosophy, which is the history of ideas which moves from Greek thought, um, Plato's cave and Socrates' ideas about an unmoved mover and mo takes us all the way through enlightenment thinking through to 20th century French philosophy. Following on from that, what we'll consider is ideas about the soul, the nature of existence and reality and what it means to be human. The second part of the course is ethics, which is what does it mean to be a good person? This is defined inside and outside of religious thought and we trace uh, the history of this all the way back from the Greeks again, but this time we take stops into various aspects of 20th century thought, specifically those which regard business and sexual ethics as they are two of the most prevalent issues that affect our society today. So we'll be talking about what does it mean to be a good moral agent in the world of corporations and business law, but also 
also in addition we'll be considering the ideas of gender identity and what it means to be a man or a woman or anyone else across the spectrum um, in the 21st century. Finally is the systematic study of one world religion which will be Christianity and we will see how from the birth of Christianity as a world faith uh, from 325 when it began, became the official religion of the Roman Empire and we will trace its influence therefore on Western and Eastern philosophy uh, through to the current day. Hello, my name is Mrs Speed and I've worked in West Derby School for 20 years. Moving up to sixth form is all about independence and taking responsibility for your own development and progress. It's also a big transition and it's my role to ensure that you are given full support in your welfare learning and career destination over the two years of your course of study and are provided with first-hand advice, guidance, resources and services regarding apprenticeships, university choices, including the UCAS process, finance, bursaries, work placements, university visits and scholarship to ensure that you move on to meaningful destinations and are ready for the next stage of your education, employment and training. I also organise a full programme of enrichment that complements student PSHE lessons and includes subjects such as sexual awareness, financial management, introduction to HE, student finance, mental health and wellbeing and driving awareness.